Uh, hello everyone, I wanted to show you in this video how to get the Viny Growth, which allows for a very sick health regeneration, which I'm pretty much using on every character they have, even this one. Uh, it basically allows you to regenerate so much health that you will pretty much ignore every DOT damage and uh, shrug off every small damage that you get, especially with other forms of defense. And eventually it allows for very nice gameplay, very uh, very safe, and you don't have to struggle so much. You don't have to fr frantically heal all the time. It's very nice. And what you need to do is to first get some gear with health regeneration itself, like here. And then on top of that you put uh, Viney Growth. Actually on this character I only have Viney Growth on one item. It's on the Gigantes leg plates. Here I don't have it. And then you can uh, combine it with Ankh of Isis, which pretty much does the same, but it's for jewelry. So if you have three times Ankh of Isis and uh, four times Viney Growth and Shield with Health Regeneration, uh, plus you can even have like Trance from Dream or Passive from Defense, and you can go to very high numbers. Even now I, I, I am at 146. Uh, this armor is from Epic. So if you go all the way to Legendary and get Legendary versions of this, it goes to very sick amounts. I'm pretty sure it goes to like a thousand or more uh, health regeneration. I had something like that. Uh, it was Dream and Defense uh, character a way a long time ago before even the game was changed to this Anniversary version. I played on just the usual Titan Quest with uh, the add-on and it worked pretty nicely. So you can experiment with that. And for that you will need to get the Viney Growth. And to get Viney Growth you need to be level 18, because otherwise you can't use it. And also you need to be uh, at least in the third act, which is um, Orient. So I will show you now three uh, places where you can farm it. Uh, first one will be Hanging Gardens. We'll get, get all the way there. Uh, I only have one activated skill on this character, only the defense, and we'll make it to the first area with um, plants, because it drops some plants. Just kill some guys on the way there. Uh, it's, it's not the best uh, place, because you have to run uh, quite a long uh, way, and those spiders can be uh, quite uh, quite hard, if you are just starting the game and you're not very leveled. I'm already on Epic, so it's a pretty good character. It has very strong armor, so I'm not getting hit a lot here. But if you just have plain character, also you need to remember to mm, press X, so we will see uh, that uh, the items are actually dropping. Mm. And nothing here, so all, all the way here we already have the first group. You can see on the map it's pretty much this much running to get there. And if you continue you will find another group right here. Or maybe a bit, long, uh, a bit further. Sometimes uh, it's a different... Uh, enemies in the same place. You could actually have had one group here, but you didn't. So you have to just reset the game and try again. You probably have like one group uh, and maybe more if you're lucky. And if you proceed here, you should maybe find uh, one more group. We'll see when is the next one. Nothing here. Oh, and we found it. So here in the Gardens of Babylon you can already farm it. Of course, no drops for us. Uh, it takes time. It, sometimes you have to try, like, kill like 50 monsters, sometimes less. And you will eventually find it. So if you are desperate to have it as soon as possible, you can just uh, pretty much um, speed run to Orient. Because you will usually be like level 15 in Greece. So those three levels in whole Egypt is, should be quite easy to get. And if you are level 18, if you are here, you can farm it. Now, second area is much better. It's exactly, um, I guess it's Babylon outskirts. And uh, it's also an area where you find uh, mob specific loot. Uh, we'll go through this, I'll show you in the same video. Mob specific loot comes from uh, mobs that are connected with a quest and they have very high chance of dropping items. That's why I'm getting all those Ictian uh, gear and basically they pretty much always drop something, they drop uh, sometimes just yellow items, but they also always drop something, almost always. A very high uh, chance to get stuff, so if you are 
trying to get like something better. That's a good way to do it here. It's very close to the teleporter, so you can, for instance, do it here. There's also more areas like that. I might be doing a specific video just on that, but just in case, I'm showing you here. And uh, of course, the areas like that on other acts, not just here. It's, for instance, one of those uh, areas with um, mob-specific loot uh, tied with quest is in Greece. It's in Arachnid's Nest. It's like level 8, uh, level 6 character. You can be there already. And we should be finding some plants here. If they are not here, you have to go and activate this rebirth font fountain and just keep resetting until you uh, find them right in this area. Mm. If you go further, much further actually, past the next bridge, uh, and yes, we found them. So they are also here. So you might prefer this area. Also, you can do this uh, mob specific loot uh, right at the start. Then you can move here and farm your uh, your viney growth. Uh, well, closer to a, to a teleporter, I think it's better area, it's uh, less running, less annoying enemies, and you can also get some uh, quite good loot, all those Ictian vestments, you can either sell them, you can also get some uh, yellow stuff, which is worth more money, like this one, so you can also grind some gold the same way. And the third area, which is my favorite of all three, it's Jade Palace, even though it's nothing to do with Jade Palace, it's far from Jade Palace. It's right after Chang'an. You have to make it all the way to the Chang'an city. And you have to find this village of Bingsan. And here is the rebirth fountain you can use. You can activate it here, so that you always appear here. And you do a whole run. I think we'll do... Uh, maybe even a whole run. So we go from this place here. Uh, here you have... Uh, Merchant, so you can get rid of your stuff. Oh, very good. Come you can sell all those items that you today. found before. Clean your inventory. I don't think I will use it, or maybe I will. Ah, I'll leave it for now. And uh, now you go right, basically, you go right from here. And you will find multiple groups of plants in this area. So here is the first group. I will try to kill them quite fast. Okay, no drops. We go to the next one. So this is the second group. They are basically always here. So they there's no chance that something else will uh, appear here. It's always the same group of monsters. Third group he here. So this is the most efficient place, but you have to make it to the like ending of Orient. So if you didn't make it there, if you are struggling, you might use one of the first two uh, farming spots. If not, then go here. This is like the fourth group. I guess uh, there's one more below, I think. Yes, so this is that's five. And we go top. There is actually one group here, one group here. So there's like seven groups at least in one place. And also some fishmen, but you have a lot of area here to escape from them. The uh, Babylon Gardens are more narrow and it's a it's a bit harder to escape from enemies if you have to. So that's it, pretty much, about uh, Viney Growth. You'll eventually find it from those plants. Uh, usually I do those runs here. I will also show you map, um, how it looks. So this is a sort of swamp area. And you start here in this village. You move from down. Uh, I, I usually go uh, like the lower part, clear inventory at Merchant, clear all those uh, tiger people, and then go through all the plants here, all the seven groups, and I just reset, keep resetting until I have enough vine growth for my build. So I guess that's it for now, and I hope it helps you building your characters. I really um, recommend trying it at least once and getting all uh, gear, like all four parts at least, with vine growth. So do you need 20 of them? And try it on your own, it's really good. It really uh, makes your game more enjoyable and uh, allows for some very interesting builds. Pretty much like Wolverine builds and uh, all kinds of regeneration. You don't have to worry much and uh, you can just shrug off a lot of damage this way. It's, it's probably one of the better ways of defending yourself just to regenerate through everything. So that's about it in this video. Uh, thank you for attention and see you in the next material.